So earlier this month, Xbox hosted their Xbox Showcase and Starfield Direct, and I was really happy to see that a lot of first-party stuff showed up. Now, I don't think all of the first-party stuff was presented in the best way, but they did have a pretty comprehensive presentation that concluded with that Starfield Direct that I think, as far as presentation goes, utterly nailed it and definitely did make me more excited for the release of Starfield. And right here we have a summary of everything that showed up from Starfield to Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 to Forza Motorsport to Avowed to uh, freaking the new Flight Simulator, which has all the new objectives now, uh, some Sea of Thieves stuff, uh, South of Midnight, Clockwork Revolution, a bunch of third-party stuff. Now, among the highlights was none other than Fable. This is an IP that people have been looking forward to seeing revived for so freaking long, and the fact that it exists, and the fact that it showed up on some level, and the fact that its existence is being acknowledged is great, and it's cool that we're getting new Fable stuff, and... Um, it's cool that Fable is being revived, and the hope now is that the execution of it can be something that Playground Games, who made Forza Horizon games and are now making Fable, can deliver. I It's kind of crazy to see this development studio that's mainly known for racing games suddenly helm this vast uh, role-playing game, but I'm very curious to see what they do with this game. For now, though, what we do have is what... Xbox has advertised as a trailer that was shot in-game on an Xbox Series X. Now, you can see right here that the trailer was not particularly super well-received. If you scroll down to the likes-to-dislikes ratio, you can see it's about 50-50 on the official Xbox page. And if you look at the trailer upload from other outlets like GameSpot, you can see that uh, this was a presentation that has been mass downvoted on GameSpot with half a million views, 11,000 upvotes, and 37,000 downvotes. And I'll explain why in a bit. Let's first check out bits of this trailer, and I'll just kind of comment along the way. And this is kind of what that looks like. So this is the level of visual fidelity that Xbox is saying we can expect out of this game. And if you look at the graphics closely, you can definitely tell that it's not like CGI. You can tell that it is rendered in-engine. Now, it's important to note that Xbox advertised that every every first-party title that was going to be showcased at that Xbox showcase would feature in-game footage. And the way I personally interpreted that, and I think a lot of people interpreted that, is that we'd see, like, tangible gameplay. Like, you can look at the footage, and it feels like somebody's holding a controller and playing through it. What we got here is essentially a mix of cutscenes and very small snippets of what's being marketed as gameplay. So let's take a look here. And the dialogue of this trailer is infused with a lot of sense of humor, which is a trademark of fables. With their disproportionately high cheekbones and comically... So this is all in-engine. Roughing up bandits. So right here, this is like gameplay, is what's being advertised. And you can kind of tell that that's what that is. You can tell that, you know, back here, we're getting essentially like a finishing move. And then moving further ahead, we're looking at a spell casting scenario. So that's what that looks like. And I mean, look, if this game delivers this level of graphics fidelity, holy shit, right? I mean, if this really is... A representative of the final game if we don't see you know substantial downgrades in the not so distant future or in the distant future when this game does finally come out then wow is this going to be one of the most beautiful looking games ever uh, but at the same time the snippets of gameplay were extremely small there's no hud or anything uh it, it's you know hard to just fully buy into this being gameplay and because it's such a small snippet People were a little disappointed that we didn't get just uh, a fuller presentation. It doesn't have to be, you know, star field direct level, but we, you know, people would have liked to see more than just cinematic gameplay or cinematics infused with cin cinematic gameplay. And so I think that's in part why there are so many dislikes, why people just didn't dig this particular presentation or this particular piece of marketing. Don't they? Living it up with the common folk. But the visual fidelity here is definitely. On a whole new level. Today basis, I'll say the true hero is me, someone who's breaking new ground with the, the facial capture is pretty insane. The lighting is pretty insane. The just fidelity of the models and textures pretty insane. Assuming this is actually an engine. Wafters. You see, I'm not here to slay legends. But it's just one of those trailers that looks so to conquer the vegetables. Scripted. Let's face it. The age of 
Heroes is over. This it's so perfectly showcased. This, if you will, is the age of death. That even if it is an engine, it's hard for me to believe in it fully. You know what I mean? It's one of those like, all right, I've been burned before with trailers like these that claimed it's an engine, and then fast forward to launch date, and the downgrades are substantial. And so after being burned like that so many times, whether it's Anthem or Watch Dogs or The Division or whatever, you know, I, I just expected to see something that was that had a little more credibility to it. It was something that we could look at and go, that definitely does look like somebody's holding a controller and just playing the game instead of this trailer that's been neatly cut and perfectly kind of presented. Here's the final bits of the trailer. One moment. And right here we get a little highlight of I guess some of the set pieces the scale of the set pieces we can expect so that's the player character and I guess there's this boss battle with this giant dude and again if this really is representative gameplay holy crap right how cool does this look and cinematic above all just the little camera shakes the presentation of it all But for now, I'm in the mentality of this almost looks too good to be true. And if they prove my skepticisms wrong, this is going to be incredible. Now, developers from uh, Playground have come out and said it's a compliment that people don't believe that this is gameplay, but they promised that this was shot in engine on an Xbox Series X, not even on like a PC. So right here we have Lucas Quells, uh, who's the lead lighting artist for a fable at Playground, who tweeted, we just revealed the first completely in-game look at Fable during the Xbox showcase. I cannot put into words how proud I am of the whole team for what we have achieved, and I'm beyond excited for what is still to come. Somebody tweeted and commented, you guys nailed it. This seriously looks insane. Can you share any more details on what exactly in-game means here? Lucas straight up said, this game, this is the game captured on an Xbox Series X. They actually booted this game up on the console, not on the most powerful PC ever, on the console itself, and they just captured footage directly from that console. Allegedly, we again, we will see when they show more footage down the line, more extensive gameplay that uh, feels more believable that it is actually a playable version of the game and that it is a, a, a possible scenario for the game running on an Xbox Series X. Lucas has also read a lot of the skeptics who are like, is this really gameplay though? And he tweeted, people not believing this is real or that the game will look like this is one of the best compliments. That's a bold statement and I'm keeping my fingers crossed and cheering for the team that when the game comes out, it really does end up looking this gorgeous. And to give Playground credit, you know, the Forza games, look pretty freaking gorgeous so as far as graphics fidelity and lighting goes they do know what they're doing so that gives me more optimism and then last but not least this is uh chris goodwall who is the principal animator at playground and who's working on fable and he straight up tweeted some fun combat animation bits i worked on that made it into the fable showcase and again this looks freaking gorgeous but uh, I want to see a full gameplay presentation so we can see how all of the different elements kind of come together in a playable game and an experience and how the gameplay flows and how all of the different systems and mechanics uh, are strung together. Like that's when I can finally get a good idea for whether I can be optimistic for Fable uh, in areas other than, wow, this looks really good, which I mean, this does look really good now there are other aspects of this trailer that people were a little bit weirded out about at least from you know just the general feedback that i've seen online like how you know why is there a camera in a fantasy setting you know what i mean this is being shot like it's just like the office type of a scenario where there's literally a camera filming this guy and this guy acknowledges that there's a camera filming him but it's a fantasy setting where you know, this type of documentation shouldn't exist. So it just feels like it pulls you out of the fantasy setting, the way this is presented in such a meta fashion. But Fable is known for its humor. And I guess this is kind of a stylistic choice for the kind of humor that they're going for here. So for me, I'm like, I'll wait and see how all of this pans out, what that style of humor is like before I make a judgment. And then there's also been some discourse about the appearance of the main character and how a lot of people are like, I hope I don't have to play as this person and, the, and that there is a character creator. Uh, this is subjective. I personally don't care that much about the character's appearance, but some people just really don't like the way she looks. Uh, 
I, for one, think like it, it'd be baffling if this game didn't have a character or creator. It's just kind of a staple of Fable to be able to design your own character. And I imagine that there's going to be a, a more masculine or a more feminine option and that you'll be able to create your own character. Uh, it, I would be really surprised if that weren't the case. Um, and I imagine that there's going to be a, a male voice and a female voice or a masculine or a feminine voice. And uh, people can like interchangeably just kind of customize those elements as they want. And so for those who really can't get over the appearance of the protagonist they showed in this showcase, I would imagine that you can make your own character to your liking is at the very least what I'm hoping for in, in a game like this in Fable. Yeah, bottom line for me is that it's not that Fable looks bad or that uh, there is an optimism surrounding it. Uh, I think it has a lot of potential. It's just the, the the presentation style, the way the game was presented, just it felt like it really didn't show us that much or at least not that much that we can really fully be like, oh, that's the game that I'm going to play. Uh, and because people are a lot more weary now of trailers of the style that are so cinematic and so like meticulously and perfectly put together. I think all of that contributed to a trailer that people just feel like they didn't get that much out of it. And it's hard to gauge still how excited one should be for this if they can really blow this thing out of the water and really prove to us that this trailer, the whole notion that this is capture on Xbox Series X is real in the next big showcase and just show us some straight gameplay no cuts from cutscenes and no cinematically filmed gameplay just show us the game being played with somebody uh, with a controller in hand then uh, they could really sell us on this and i think uh, the game really does have a lot of potential if the glimpses are actually anything to go by but that's just one man's take let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on the fable uh, in-game reveal, uh, I guess is, is the way to call it. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.